send a suit to my office during registration. Okay. I'll have a chat with her. I just want to say thanks for, you know, riding this out. It's not been easy. We are all gonna be sorry to see you go. Franco. Franco, are you okay? <laughs> oh, sorry. Too early in the morning for me, I think. Oh, okay, fair <laughs> enough. No, um, thank you for your words. Uh, I mean them sincerely. That's just new yeah. and all that. Yeah, it's so. a good way of looking at it. Hi, Nina. Hi. We really miss you. Thanks. You'll, you'll have to keep me up to date with your Italy project. <sighs> we come to you for the way, so you can count on that. She's taking her hires next year, and her art teacher is adamant that she should be doing higher art. Art? Come in. Ah, Noor. Now have a wee seat beside your mum. I was just showing your mother some of the excellent work in your art portfolio. This is private. Calm down and have a wee seat beside your mum so we can have a talk about this. Art, 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 no good. Maths, good. Biology, good. Chemistry, English, good. Noor, go to university. I don't want to go to university. It's a bad time to go to university. Sorry, sorry. I talked to her. Sorry. Daddy, look, you be a good boy for mummy, okay? You do everything mummy tells you, right? You hear? You should be a good boy, okay? Daddy's gonna miss you. Last week with the police. Oh, he's a right skinful. Uh, Tracy's been having a bit of bother with Ben too. No, I'm allowed to comment on it. His wee pals are into all sorts, I reckon. It won't be long before he's followed suit. I can't hear you very well, Anna. What? Anna's on the phone. She's saying that she's worried about Ben. What? Someone thinks he saw him leave the party. On his own? I think so. Oh, I can't believe this. And he's still not answering his phone. I'm going to kill him. He said he was just going to Mark's. He'll be alright. He's a big lad. He's probably just had a few too many. I need to go and find him, James. I knew he'd do something like this. Go on, I'm a futurologist. I try to predict the future and sell it. In a city like Glasgow, there would always be men whose interests and investments would benefit from my foresight. The future is before us, yet always out of sight. I knew I was close, but until then never in sight, always around the next corner, always through the next door. Sir, please, can you tell me, is it 11.56pm on Thursday the 17th of October, 1889? And yet... Sometimes, 
there's someone who gives me a smile, and they warm up this life that I live for a while. Merry Christmas, they say, and for me, on my own, for a few precious moments, I'm no longer alone. Merry Christmas, I say, and no longer feel sad, maybe cold, a bit hungry, but life's not so bad. Merry Christmas, pal. No love that in any family dwells, no caroling in frosty air, nor all the steeple-shaking bells can with this simple truth compare, that God was man in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine.